In the early days of my recovery, um, my job was simply to recover. I spent hours, literally um, thousands of hours in therapy. One of my therapists said, Daniel, what are you doing all this therapy for? And I didn't have an answer for her. Um, I didn't really know why I was doing it. I guess I was just doing it to get better, but I didn't have any goals set for myself at that point. And something that I always wanted to do was climb Mount Rainier ever since I was a little kid. The Twist River Fire, I felt like, was so hard because I felt like Mother Nature had taken so much from me and my buddies and the families. And I felt like being able to conquer Mother Nature would be a way of me showing life that nothing would stop me. And I felt like climbing Mount Rainier would be a way in my mind that I could conquer Mother Nature. I started training to summit Mount Rainier and I wanted to summit on the memorial of the Twist River Fire in honor of my brothers, just to be able to hopefully motivate others as well, that no matter what you go through in life, if you set your mind to something, you can, you can do it. Even though I didn't end up summoning on the memorial of the Twist River Fire, I summited the day after. Once I was at the top, you know, I, I, I thanked God, I thanked um, my family for getting me there, my brothers get me there, and it was an incredible feeling. It was painful in a lot of ways, physically. It was physically challenging. It was mentally challenging, but it was also the, the best uh, hardship that I'd gone through in a lot of ways. I truly felt my brothers was with me that entire climb up that mountain. Um, that, you know, at over 13,000 feet, that was, I felt like, the closest I've physically been to him since the day of that accident. I believe that they were in heaven looking down on me. Standing on that mountaintop, I got to feel like I was right there with him.